Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share the three things that I've learned after moving to the UK after nine years. I hope it would be of any help if you are moving away from your home country or I'm just happy to find people who resonate with my experience. To start, I would like to give you a bit of information about myself. So my name is Barbara and I came to the UK in 2013. I came here for university and before that I attended a one year foundation year course course. I then joined a graduate job now in my third job in the UK. So without further ado, let's get started. First point that I wanted to mention about moving to a foreign country is that you need to be independent. You might think this is a very obvious point, but I believe it is worth mentioning and here are the reasons why. So the independence I'm referring to here is not just about doing everything by yourself. Moving to a new country will require to be on your own on the second that you landed in that country. So that includes finding a place to live, set up your bank account, sort out your bills, registering with the police or government, like all the admin fun stuff, managing your own spending, understand how your tax work, when you started working and upon to the next stage, you also need to figure out how to work out your finances, the list can go on. Moving away from parents means you're no longer protected at all times by your parents. It also means you have more free choices to yourself. Those choices are actually the ones that will shape you in the future and as a person. Taking my own experience as an example, I was not a very independent child when I first came to the UK. When I first came to the UK, I actually did not know what I like or don't like. I always enjoyed sort of being accompanied and to all the occasions that's around me. I felt safer and um, when being accompanied. How that directly impacted on my social life is that even if there's something that I am interested in, I was not brave enough to uh, join an event by myself. I always wanted to gain assurance by having someone going together with me. Yes, to pursue those things that I am interested in. I was not comfortable carry on being persistent with what I like. Some of them just sort of like faded away. Um, it is actually still one of my biggest regrets so far. Like when I thought about my undergrad year, I wish I joined or stick with one or two clubs that I was very interested in, like going to an event, going for an activity, going for a tasting session for one of the clubs. That also reflected on my job hunting at the later stage, where I always wanted to gain assurance from my parents before I action on the goals that I was interested in. I remember when I was at the cross point where I was deciding if I should go for a master or directly into a graduate role world my parents and i we had a long heated discussion um, which one to choose the way i'm looking at it now is that i recognize that it's very valuable to take people's opinions especially the ones with more experienced it will be good to find your ally uh, when it comes to realizing your goals or go for the hobbies that you're interested in but you also need to recognize the fact that you're also a grown up now and you should make decisions for yourself it's almost impossible for someone to share the exact personality with you. It's okay to have errors, it's okay to make mistakes. Trials and errors will let you know that what you're interesting but not good for you and what you're not interesting or not good at. As long as your decisions is well considered, um, be your own boss and make yourself more like you. The second thing that I've learned after moving to a new country for nine years is that you need to be open to differences. So what I mean by that is after moving to a new country, you will be exposed to a new culture at an accelerated rate. Not only will you meet new people, you will be speaking probably a new language and you'll be faced with the new norms as well. Especially if you're moving abroad for study, you will be more likely to meet people from all parts of the world. After you moved, you will be the minorities in other people's culture. What I learned from my own experience is that after you moved into a new country, you need to keep an open mind and welcome the challenge that comes into your way. This might not be the most comfortable journey, but you might be experiencing some things you've never encountered before. Whether it's a person, event, or a community, all these experiences will be rewarding in all perspectives, 
and it will make your life fuller and more colorful in a way one thing that i wanted to stress uh, about this point is that you don't need to be someone else to blend in using a tree as an analogy what you're trying to do when moving to a new country is to branching out to make your tree look fuller by experiencing new events, met new people, trying different stuff. It doesn't mean you need to cut down your root and grow again. In my opinion, there's no need to chase someone else's culture, drop your own. It is important to stay true to yourself, or a little bit of cliche to say, and stay true with your own identity. It might touch a slightly deeper topic on culture identity as like a foreigner in a new country, but I'm happy to do another video if you're interested to hear what I think. The third point that I wanted to mention is that only do you do what makes you happy will make you genuinely happy. Growing up in the Asian upbringing, you always tend to hear the kid next door like, hey, look, the girl upstairs, they just won the first place in physics again and they started really, really hard. Or, hey, the girl downstairs plays piano very well and she must have practiced a lot. Here, I don't plan to talk much about how comparison is the thief of joy. What I wanted to focus on is how these comments influenced my way of thinking. Um, for me, these comments made me start to question myself as in like, am I less good than my peers, even though I put the same or even more amount of effort? But I think instead, what you need to think is that, do you want to be like her? Do you want to be that person? do i enjoy physics or do i really enjoy piano put that in a job hunting context in my graduation years a job at investment banking is such a glamorous thing to share and um, not only because it's the highly selective recruitment process but also it, it says something about you as a person when you can survive that kind of working environment admittedly i had that phase when i did not know what the job actually is Later, when I started the actual research on the job, the question I started to ask myself is that, what is investment banking? What does the job do? What do different positions in investment banking do? What lifestyle does it entail? Will I like that lifestyle? And started to placing all that factors on my scale. Fast forward as time goes by, where I did change my job twice, I am now at the job that I currently feel I have a good work-life balance, good level of challenging, where I'm genuinely motivated to go for work every day. And I do thank myself for following my heart and not blindly diving into something that I did not know about. Disclaimer, this is not encouraged people from not applying for investment banking if that is your goal and if that's what you're interested in within this argument a point that i really wanted to stress is that it's very important to keep patience on myself which is also something i am working on at the moment it takes time to recognize you don't have to do everything at one time. You don't have to do everything now. Understanding things takes time. Adaption takes time. Reflection takes time. There is a learning curve even when it comes about learning things about yourself. That's the three things I wanted to share after living in the foreign country for a while. Moving abroad is an exciting journey. I remember the first time when I hopped onto a plane, I was super excited. But there were ups and downs throughout the journey. But overall, it's a very rewarding journey. And I would highly recommend to go abroad, even for like a short period of time, if you have the opportunity. I wanted to make this journey towards the more exciting side rather than make it daunting for you. Also, this is my first time making this type of video. This is actually something I wanted to continue to do um, on my channel. And if you do like this type of content, give me a thumb up or tell me in the comments below. I'm all ears about all your stories, all your thoughts, if you agree, if you disagree. I hope you find my three little tips helpful and I hope to see you in my next content soon. Bye!